No, I wanted to record this. Because they're really creepy. Hey. Hello. <laughs> We're just now leaving my friend Cody's house. We stayed here last night. Um, we didn't really get to vlog after the convention because we went to the costume contest to go watch that and then we kind of like got over here and just spent some time with my friends. Can. Oh, it was full. <laughs> I just hit a full soda can and exploded. Anyway, um, so we kind of just spent some time with my friends because I haven't really seen them in like a year. So, um, but there is some footage from the stuff that we did last night. I don't think it's going to end up in this vlog. It's probably going to be its own either side vlog or on my personal channel. I don't know because it's not... It's not rated PG as far as language goes. We played we played uh, Cards Against Humanity and this game where... I don't know what it's called. But where you basically put headphones on one person and the other person has to say something to them. Like, you put music in the headphones that the other person can't hear. And basically they have to try to lip read. And it's really hilarious because unless you're really good at lip reading, it does not look like what they're saying at all. And apparently I misinterpret things in a very bad way. But anyway, that'll end up somewhere. I'll let you guys know. Um, anyway, we're going to go eat breakfast right now. I think on the way back home when we're driving back we'll talk more about the convention for you guys um kind of recap things that we weren't able to show you and such so we're gonna go eat food hi joey's face <laughs> this place is called ella's dally and it's this really cool place we'll show you the inside it's kind of hard to explain but they have a carousel over there if that tells you anything and we're gonna go eat in here hope we don't die from all the creepy toys He's kind of creepy. This is Joey. Hi. I'm and Joey. this is Ella's Deli. So, as you can see, they have. I'm about to go show you the other part. But they have tons of stuff everywhere. And it moves and it makes noises. And. It's overall just really cool. And their menu, I should have taken a thing of the menu. Their menu is ginormous. It's like 30 pages long. It literally is. And it's all done in like a Word document with all of the like old school graphics and stuff. <laughs> it's kind of awesome. And like all the tables have stuff inside in them. And you're supposed to be able to push that button over there but and make the train work. go, but it doesn't work. But it's really cool. And each one has something different. And there's creepy, is it Mighty Mouse? Is that who that is? And he doesn't stop flying overhead. But there's just some really cool stuff in this place. They probably pay a lot in the electricity bill. Yes. The monkey? No. Oh. Hey, the monkey. The place is also the people just along one side of it. Yeah, right it goes like all the way around the, over there. They're really creepy. <laughs> they scare me. The toes have different things on them. I feel like somebody's gonna get hurt by that.
so he stops moving. I don't know what that guy in the corner is supposed to be doing, but he looks like he's gonna barf. And there's Spider Man! I think he originally had a flu. Oh, that does make sense. I don't know what's up with this frog either. It's just, it's very, very focused on 
there's some panels throughout the days, and I'm sure there probably were more on the other days that were not there. It was a three-day event. So that's the other thing is like if you're wanting to see panels and stuff, it suggests probably going all three days if that's the part you're going for. Um, but it's definitely like the main floor is nothing but selling stuff. That's all that that area is, and it's huge. Um, the artist alley area is cool. I'm not as much of a fan of just the. We got asked two different times in a row, basically, by the same people if we've ever considered getting LASIK surgery because we both happened to be wearing glasses that day. They and were, like, attacking people in the crowd. It's, like, it's like the heckler kind of thing that a lot of people were doing, and I don't like that, though. Like, I just... I'm going to a convention. If I want to spend my money at you, I will spend my money at you. If I if I don't, just let me be and let me enjoy the convention. I didn't actually come here for you to yell at me that my eyesight sucks. <laughs> like, <laughs> I love when uh when you say no thanks and they just keep going. It's like ah. no thank you. Well, actually, we do this, this, and this too, and you can win it for free. But if the you do second this, we walk like, in the door, they had this like they were giving away a trip to. Florida or something for something Star Wars related or something maybe and the second we walk in it was like being in a carnival and having like the people that run like the, the stupid games yelling at you this guy is just like instantly like you should come sign up you yes you kind of thing and, like and we're just kind of like no thanks and he's just like keeps just going on his whole spiel and I'm just like why can't I hang up on you <laughs> like, <laughs> but it's it's definitely it's a cool convention um, I would want to try a different day of the week next time if we went again, just to see if there's a big difference on the days that you go. Um, and it's definitely, unless you're cosplaying it or you're meeting a group of friends, I feel like it's definitely a bring money, spend money kind of event. Um, so probably not quite the thing for us. Um, Especially because the only other one we've really been to is Geek Girl Con, and that was, it was focused very, very differently. It was all about the panels and playing the, the tabletop games and stuff like that, experiencing, like, the people, and then upstairs there were areas for artists and stuff to sell things, but it was, it was separated. I like the fact that it was very separated, too, there, like, an upstairs, downstairs experience. So you could choose whatever floor you wanted to be on and experience that part of the convention. Um... So there's definitely a couple other ones that we're looking into. I know next year I would really like to go to C2E2. I've been hearing a lot of good stuff about it. The price doesn't look so bad. And it's down in Chicago, so I'm sure we can meet up with a bunch of people too, which would be really cool. We spent $35 on that companion cube, which you saw us open. It was silly, but it was fun. Silly. Peter's in love with the ET, so hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it doesn't scare her. Um, the, the costume contest was really cool actually to see, even though you'd seen a lot of them walking around, it was cool to see them have like their moment out there. It's not where like everybody's just taking pictures of them. They got to do like their thing. And there were a couple people who just completely, like, there was a guy dressed as an orc from, uh, Lord of the Rings. It was a really good costume. Like he did the face so well. The one time we saw him, at least the one time I saw him really, he was like, sleeping on the floor, <laughs> just like chilling, holding on to his weapon. <laughs> it was kind of cool. But um, it was really well done. And then they were asking, like the judges were trying to ask him questions about his stuff. And they were like, so uh, did you did you make your, your costume or whatever? And he stayed in character. Well, first they asked him if he speaks any, if he speaks any English. Because they were kind of like just goofing around with him. And he puts on like this, this accent and everything and like very broken English to like explain that yes he knows a little bit and then they're asking about his costume and stuff and he was talking about how like their their head armory orc or whatever <laughs> made it and everything and like he just stayed completely in character the whole time you can tell the judges like finally started playing along with it a little bit more but they were kind of like they're not used to that I don't think um and the predators were really cool I was super impressed. There were these two people that came together, at least I'm assuming they actually came together, um, who were dressed as predators, and the one was crazy impressive. Like, it was huge, really well done, and then, I don't, what is it, is it literally just like a, what would you call it, like a face helmet, helmet that the predators wear? His, he could actually take off, like it magneted off, and then he had the full predator face under that as well. So that was really, it just added a lot to it. Um, and then Joey has one he wants to tell you about. Okay, so for those who don't know, she is terrified of mascots, furries, or anything in a big hairy suit whatsoever. Terrified. And uh, there was an individual that did a sort of a furry costume, but the head was enormous. So, like, everything 
years in one. And we had stepped out during the judging to make a phone call to say goodnight to our daughter. And we came back and stopped going to our seats. We stood next to a railing, which led from behind the stage so we could see them costumes as they came by. So I see this thing coming off the stage and coming towards us. So I distract her. So she's looking at me talking. And right at this thing I've been um, giving people knucks. So I was like, hey, you look at that guy when it was like right next to her, like this far from her face. And, she and it's turns. dark. Keep in mind it's dark as well, okay? It was dark. And he's got his hand, paw, whatever up like this to give her a fist bump. So I turn around. And she like screamed and like almost ran into the wall. I literally like backed into the corner. I cowered and almost started crying. Because and the it guy was in like, the costume was so confused. It was hilarious. Like my, my heart went from up here down into my stomach and I just I'm sitting here like hyperventilating and Joey's just laughing at me. And the guy just like in his costume takes off confused and I'm just like because I turned around all excited to like see something really cool. And then there was that. And it just, it was, it's been a little bit since I've had like a super freak out moment. I think the last one was when I worked at the library. No, actually that was the, that was the last one that was like really up close was when I worked at the library and the um, Pac-Man ghosts were kind of creepy when they ran through. But that one I at least could appreciate. It was kind of artistic. They like had made their costumes completely out of cardboard and they go running. These ghosts are chasing after a Pac-Man through the library. That was kind of cool, but it was still creepy. And she hid under her desk. No, no, no. That wasn't the time I hid. No? The time I hid was when the wieners showed up. Okay. Oh. Locally, the, is it the brewer? No, right. Yeah, the brewers. The brewers, the brewers have these, this stupid thing that they do at their games where they have people dressed up in like different kinds of like ballpark wieners and brats and crap. And they they race each other. Okay, it's like a big deal here in Wisconsin. It's I don't I don't I don't even I have no idea. I don't know why. We're weird here. People people bet on which person in the hot dog suit's gonna win the race, and they run around the field. And they shoot like t-shirts and and, and hot dogs up hot in the dogs stands. out of like a potato gun up into the stands, which just sounds like a bad idea too. But oh, that poor deer. Is it? Anyway, um, these things come into the library that I was working at. So, like, I'm sitting here at the desk as the reference librarian, and and these these racing wieners come in, and I just I panic because they run right by the desk. So I'm underneath the desk, cowering, waiting for them to leave. And when I come back out, there was a person waiting for help, and they looked at me. But my place of work should feel safe, and it didn't feel safe. But no were, sense then. There were giant hot dogs there were giant up in there. Hot dogs. Um, but there was, his brother Josh was in the military, um, so the first time he came back, we all went to Six Flags together. And Six Flags likes to have Disney characters, and so there was a Goofy, and you and Josh were trying to convince me to go over by Goofy, and I was just, just no. I've always said Peyton will never get to go to like Disney World or anything like that because I just I can't. I will be in a constant panic attack. Like it just nope. But anyway, so that was Joey's highlight of the entire weekend. It was. <laughs> um, there were some really cool Silver Roller cosplays were definitely worth it. Um, I kind of wish we'd gotten to see some of the panels. Like I know Tenant spoke at one thing and we didn't really know about it until like right before so we didn't really get to go to that that would have been cool um but i mean if you're in the madison area i don't know if the price was worth it to me either it was kind of like it was literally between the two it was about a hundred dollars when you added like tax and all that stuff and so like and that was for one day i mean you obviously get like a deal if it's multi-day passes but I... there's an enormous Do it again.
again at some point, but I'd rather focus on saving up for other ones that they might be more of a distance, but I think they might fit us a little better. So, um, although if you like comics and stuff, they did have quite a few like comic booths and everything. Or those little pop figurines, oh my god, there were like probably 15 different stands that that's all that they sold. So if you have that. But the art was good. I was yeah. very impressed by some of the artwork there. And it was a much bigger art artist alley than I'm used to, at least compared to like Geek Girl. But, so, I don't know. But if you guys have any suggestions of conventions that we should check out, um, I mean, obviously Midwest area preferable, but we could obviously always work on, you know, maybe pick one or two every year to try to get to, maybe. Um, so let us know if there's ones that you think that would be good for us that you suggest. Because um, a lot of the ones around here are very tabletop gaming and anime based. And not that we don't like anime or anything, it's just those aren't necessarily... They, I'd want to experience them at some point, but it's not like our thing. I don't think we'd be as comfortable at them. We, we wouldn't get as much out of it. Um, although it would be fun to cosplay at it. And tabletop gaming, I just... I've never gotten into it. I don't know. I've never really fully tried it either, so maybe I should do that. Anything else you want to say about the convention? I'm tired and I don't want to go to work in an hour. That sucks. I'm tired too. But it was really, really fun seeing Cody and Brianna. Yeah. Everybody that was. Cool. We need to see them more often. And, uh, but yeah, you'll get to see them. You already probably saw them on the vlog a little bit. We're like sisters that never got to actually be sisters and it's it's cool because every time that we get back together no matter how long it's been we just kind of pick up where we left off it doesn't feel like this giant hole or anything and that's pretty cool for me so anyway I'm gonna stop. <laughs> yeah I think we're gonna just focus on driving for a little bit and get him back in time for work and then I'm gonna go probably edit some video stuff and get EBD out and maybe take a nap and then I'm gonna go see him later and he works until 11 tonight that sucks it's been a long day yeah but we had fun right yes a lot of fun Yeah, can you say hi? Hi. You want to see what's in there? Yeah. <gasps> Who's that? that? Take him out. Is that E.T.? Yeah. That's E.T. That's E.T. Can you give him a hug? Oh. I like you. You like him? Yeah. A toy. I don't know if there's really anything else in here that you would like, though. Oh, wait. You might like this guy. You want a little domo? Okay. Is that kind of cool? Okay. With this one, you got to be careful, okay? And we're going to put it on your coat for you. Yeah. But look. It's a Pinkie Pie pin. Oh. You like it? It'll get put on your clothes like this. Boop. Did you have fun with Jimon Jeepa? Yeah. E.T. E.T. He's a phone home. <laughs> Good job, bug. That's E.T. Hey, Peter. Can you give the phone a kiss? <laughs> Say good night. Good night. I love you, Peter. <laughs> You're cute.